Okay, good afternoon everyone and welcome to what is our fourth edition of Hilti Live. My name is Alistair McCausland, I'm going to be your digital account manager this afternoon. Now if it's your first time joining us on these, welcome. It's my first time doing it so we're all in the same boat, but it's great to have you here. And what these sessions are intended to do is bring to you the latest innovative products that Hilti has to offer across the trades in an easy format. And we're going to be doing one of these sessions every month. Um, each one is fully interactive, so if, if you have any questions or comments, I encourage you please to put them in the comment box. We have somebody standing by ready to answer your questions. And if you're watching this stream after the live stream, then still put your questions in. We've got somebody monitoring the box and they'll get back to you as soon as they can. So what are we looking at today? Well, we're going to look at dry lining applications. And we're going to show you some of the tools involved with that, including the SCM A22 cold cut metal saw. We're going to look at the BX3 battery powered direct fastening tool and of course we'll look at the market leading SD5000 collated screwdriver. So let's get into it. So what we're going to look in detail, we're going to look at every step of the dry lining application, in particular metal stud partition walls. This is an application that Hilti can offer you a full product solution to from start to finish. So what's the first thing we think about when we're, we're, we're doing these dry lining walls? Well it's setting out isn't it? And for that, we need a reliable and robust laser. And they don't come much more robust and reliable than Hilti's PM30 MG Green Line Laser. Now, this is a multi-line laser. Um, it's relatively new. It sits on our 12 volt platform. And today I'm going to be using our new 4 amp 12 volt battery with enhanced cell technology and of course enhanced battery life LEDs. Look at them. So what are the highlights of this? Well, it's a green laser. It's visible to the eye indoors up to 40 meters, and it's with use with a laser, a laser receiver, you can use it up to 100 meters indoor. It's got a 360 degree plane on the vertical, a 360 degree plane on the horizontal, and it has two 360 separate planes on the vertical with a horizontal here for your um, perimeter tracking. But that's a bit psychedelic, so for the purpose of this demo, we'll stick to the two 360 planes all around with a cross section. Now, a great feature about this laser, as you can see, is the lasers themselves are mounted on the exterior, exterior of the laser. This means that when you're fitting your track or setting out your track, this laser can go anywhere along your line, meaning easy installation of the track can fit under here for precise measurements. You can go right to the back to the wall and right angles without moving the laser itself, which is a big advantage and makes things a lot quicker. But a great feature of this is its fine tuning element. Now, as you see here, we've got a cross here, here. What's the main difficulty in setting out your, your laser, setting out the tracking and whatnot? It's lining up point A to point B. Every time you move the laser, the whole line moves. What this offers you is a cross here, here, that you can place on point A, as you can see. And we've got point B over here by this laser receiver, so you can see the line coming in. And all we do to get that line on point B is simply use the fine tune feature which is a simple dial at the back of the laser and you'll see this line coming across the receiver now meeting point B here at the end of the pencil and the main feature of this is you'll note when the line touches point B the cross here on point A hasn't moved and this is the only laser on the market that offers this feature where this on point doesn't move thanks to the laser itself moving on an arc. This will save you so much time in the job site and the setting out makes it so much simpler if you haven't seen this already, get in touch with the account manager and ask for an on-site demonstration. It's a cracking piece of kit. So that's setting out. Now what's next in the tracking process? Well, it's cutting the track, isn't it? And for that, Hilti offers you the SCM 22A cold cut circular saw. Now this isn't a new product. A lot of you will be familiar with, it, with this, you'll have seen it before. But are you fully aware of all the benefits that this can bring to your tool park? Well, first off, it sits on our 22 volt platform, and today we're going to use the 8 amp, the new 8 amp battery with enhanced cell technology again. And there's a couple of safety features on this. First of all, it uses a, it uses a 165 millimeter blade, giving you a maximum cutting depth of 57 millimeters. But it's got a blade stop speed when you take your finger off the trigger of only 0.5 of a second. It also operates with a safety feature, you can't just use it with the trigger you have to push the safety release button here first, which also operates a fancy LED for accuracy. It also collects all the shards for the metal you're cutting right here, which of course is better for the environment and is safer for the user to use. 
And the main feature of this obviously is that it's a cold cut saw. Now what this means is no sparks, no need for hot works permits. It's, it's a simple use anywhere on site tool. So let me give you a wee demonstration of this. Now with all power tools and Hilti in particular, health and safety is paramount and with circular saws particularly, pay attention to eyes and ear protection please. I've got here a bit of common C stud and we'll just cut this and show you exactly how simple this is to use. And that's it folks, it's as simple as that. You'll notice there there were absolutely no sparks, the metal's cold to the touch and as we said, this means that there's no need for any hot works permits every morning. There's no need to set up and dismantle hot cutting stations on site every morning and every evening. And thanks to the battery technology, there's no cords to trail. So this could be used on any level of the building site, anywhere, in complete safety. It's a cracking piece of kit, an absolutely brilliant tool, and hopefully you can get a chance to have a look at this soon. So we've set out, we've cut the track, and now of course we need to lay the track. So what's the go-to tool to lay a track in, isn't it? It's a, a gas nailer. For us it will be our GX3 gas actuated direct fastener. Now this is a good tool, nothing wrong with it at all. But it's not exactly the cutting edge of technology in this day and age. But for that we have the market leading battery actuated BX3 direct fastening tool. Now this was and is the first battery actuated direct fastening tool on the market and it's still the best by a long way for a number of reasons. So let's have a look at it. Again, it's on our 22 volt platform. Today we've got our new 4 amp battery on this, which has replaced our 3 amp battery. There are two versions of this tool. There's an m and &E version and there's an IF version. This is the IF version and it offers you a magazine capacity of 30 screws. Maximum nail length of this magazine is 36 millimeters. The reason being for that is extensive testing with the battery technology available today we've determined 36 millimeters is the longest nail that can fasten properly with this technology. Making the tool more reliable because when you try and fasten longer tools as we all know with competitor tools uh, fastening longer nails you get a lot of jamming issues. So it's a more reliable tool for quicker smoother installation. The tool is also ergonomically balanced and weighted but when in use with the battery on it it sits in the palm of your hand very, very simply, very easily. There's a couple of fe safety features with the tool. You turn it on, you can use it. If you haven't fired it for more than two minutes, the tool will shut down automatically itself. This saves not only the battery life, but stops people that haven't had the proper training or know how to use it, picking it up and messing about with it. And you can just turn it off yourself. Now the noise you hear when you turn it on or off is the battery powering the spring load mechanism here, because the tool works with a piston and a spring load system here. And that gives you various benefits. When using the tool, the tool sits in direct line with your wrist and your forearm. So the piston fires in a direct line, reducing any repetitive strain injury risks. Competitive tools often have a gyro effect that every time you pull the trigger, it twists your wrist. This tool takes that out of the equation completely. And of course, being battery powered, it takes away the need for any gas. Gas in this day and age is a bit archaic. It can be unreliable and unpredictable in cold weather and like the winter months that are coming up. You have to store it correctly, you have to dispose of it correctly, but with the gas tool, uh, the battery tool, sorry, it takes those problems out of the equation. Another feature of the BX is that it has Bluetooth connectivity. The way you can do is download a free app from our Hilti, from um, your app store called Hilti Connect, and that gives you information on the Bluetooth connected tools, i.e. how many times the tool has been fastened, uh, fired, when it's due to service, and all its service history, meaning that you can maintain your tools better for longer, you get a better lifespan out of them. Now I hear you saying 36 mm oh, that's not very long if you've got deflection heads like this in a more traditional setup. It's not, because when you're using a double deflection head like that, you're going to need something a bit more robust to get through the, the two layers or maybe even triple layers into the soffit above. And for that we offer you the DX5 powder actuated direct fastening tool. This is taken over from the DX460 a couple of years ago. This particular one here is a single F8 head of it to fire single shot nails up to 102 mil. You can also get a magazine, an MX-72 with it, which will take 10 collated nails like so, up to the length of 72 mil, which is ample to fire through double and triple deflection heads. As always, there's a range of cartridges with this. Um, yellow for concrete, red for steel, black for hard steel is the general rule of thumb. But there's also a power set in here still, one to four. Now to get the, the correct nail to cartridge to power ratio, please get in touch with our account manager. That's our job. 
We'll happily come out to site, we'll demonstrate the tool, we'll do some test fires and we'll find out and recommend the correct setup for the whole tool for you. This tool also has Bluetooth connectivity telling you how many times it's been fastened and when you connect it with the app you can see the service history of it, when it is serviced and whatnot. So now we've got the tracking up, we've got the bottom, top and sides. Um, thanks to the nails coming in, a variation of steel or concrete nails and selections. And now we need to put the sea studs and the struts in the middle here. And for that, we've got the go-to, the one and only, SID4 Impact Driver. This tool is a great wee tool. It's lightweight, it's robust, it's reliable. It's got an hour updated brushless motor. It's got an improved chuck here. With our 5.2 amp battery, it's a perfect fit and a perfect pairing. And of course, it's got new LED lights as I blind you there, and it's still got our one to three power setting. This is the ideal tool for this job. It's so easy, so quick, so smooth, and very light. To use the studs, to, for the studs, we're gonna use 13 mil pan heads self-drilling screws, which is a very, very simple application. Just remember again, health and safety first. I'll demonstrate how easy it is to put these in. There we go. Just like that. It's a two second job. Very smooth, very easy. You won't go wrong with this kit. So versatile and so reliable. So now we've got the metal framing up and we come into the latter part of the, the application here. And that's the sheeting itself, sheeting the board. And for that, there's really only one choice in this industry and we all know it. It's our flagship SD5000 Kalate screwdriver. But this is the O2 version, the next generation. It's had a bit of a facelift. It's got a new improved brushless motor inside, making it now the most powerful collated screwdriver on the market. It's got a redesigned ergonomic grip for trigger use and an even better ergonomic design for collated use. Fits even nicer in the palm of your hand. Again, it sits on our 22 volt platform. We've got a four amp battery here. It's got a new improved LED light. And of course, it's still compatible with your old trusty SMD57 collated magazine. But we're not going to look at that because this is a, a video about innovation. So let's look at our newer SDM2 magazine. Now this still flits on and still swivels around to give you different angles on it. But what this offers you is a speedier process in changing the, the strips. If you remember the old school strips, there are 50 screws in it, they're quite long, they're quite cumbersome. To get them into the SDM D57, you've got to feed it round and find the right nail part or whatnot. With the SDM2, We've got a very simple strip with 20 screws on it. It's a nice straight strip, which makes it a one-handed operation to change it around. And as you notice there, it only goes so far because it automatically loads into the first screw. To pull it out, you simply pull it out the top there. Now if you've got part use strips like so, it's just the same process. So just slip it in, up as far as it will go, and you're good to go. So if you're up a ladder, if you're holding something, you don't need to put down the tool, take it off, use two hands to do it. It's still got a fine tune adjustment here to get the embedment depth of the screw head perfect. And it's got a new improved nozzle here, more slim line to get into the corners tighter, and it's got a better grip here. So let me show you a couple of screws here, show you how smooth the action is. And it's still got the collated function on it. As easy as that. Now you guys are probably better at that than me, but you can see the idea of it. Very smooth, very comfortable, and very easy. And of course, the strips just come out. So that really brings us to the end of our demonstration today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed doing it with you. Um, please keep continuing to ask any questions in the comment section. Somebody will answer them. And please tune in next week, where Mike's going to be, or next month rather, where Mike's going to be showing you some of the innovative tools and products for the steel trade. Thanks very much for watching, I'm Alistair McCausland and I'll see you soon.